I have some really cool science news today. A new study, very new, very new. That like sounded like Trump. Oh <laughs> very my God. new. It's the newest. Very new. It's the newest. Oh, it's the absolute newest study. It's the biggest study. The biggest study. The most people ever no, studied in the study. It's a great study. Oh my um, God. It's found a molecule <laughs> in honeybee venom destroys breast cancer cells. This was a lab oh. study. Really cool. It's kind of like been going. It's in like going vitro, to, obviously. Uh, like yes, right now. That'll be one vivo. of the caveats. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's at the end of my study. Thanks for burying the lead. Or I guess I buried the lead. But <laughs> So basically, it's a specific type of aggressive cancer cells that they've been testing on called triple negative breast cancer. So because it's so aggressive, they have not had necessarily great therapies for this or great treatments wow. options for it. And the previous options they have had for it also have negative impacts on healthy cells. So that's why this is really exciting because this honeybee venom is able to target those cells without hurting other cells in the process. So huh. in the bee's venom, they have something called melatonin, which makes their venom painful to us. So if you get stung, that's like the painful part. But they actually have it throughout their tissue and their body to fight cool. off pathogens for themselves. And so oh, scientists okay. were testing this, trying to figure out, like, is it the venom in general? Is it this substance or, sorry, this uh, protein? And it ended up being the melatonin that they realized is actually causing the tumor cells to break down. And basically using it, it killed the cells in 60 minutes. The melatonin would do that, which was really cool. If you block melatonin by an antibody, the cancer would still grow. So they're, this is just like narrowing down. Yeah, like how they for sure, out. it's exactly. this substance. And ultimately melatonin interferes with the can cancer's signaling pathway which messes up their replication process wow and one really cool thing at the end they said they had they tried to make a synthetic version of it and it worked in the same way so by looking huh. at that molecule they remade it and it still had that impact. oh that's awesome because then you know like farm bees or it's like we need bees too we're yeah. like okay bees we need you to like pollinate all of our food and also bt dubs <laughs> we're also going to take some of you because we need you to like get rid of our well, cancers it also just kind of uh, it's a positive way to also be like we really need to take care of bees you know there's amazing properties that we're learning from them not to say we need to exploit them like it's great that we yeah. can study them because we've realized that honeybee venom has also been used to treat eczema it has anti-tumor properties they found in the past and so we're like okay we can't let this catastrophe that's happening with them we can't take it with a grain of salt or what is that? what's the phrase we can't not take it seriously basically yeah because yeah. i think we have a much to learn from honeybees and if we're just gonna let their populations collapse that'll be a really th sad thing now to end the caveat was yes this has been still experimental been tested in petri dishes uh so now the the sort of end result is that they want to see these tests expanded to make sure that there's real world safety and effectiveness within humans 